Hi, I'm Bo with Windsor, and I'm here today to introduce you to the Windsor Versamatic Dual Motor Vacuum. For over 30 years, the Windsor Versamatic has been the workhorse of the cleaning industry, offering long-lasting, dependable dual motor power. There's a lot of things you may not know about dual motor vacuums. For example, if you were to take a comparably sized single motor upright and a comparably sized dual motor upright, do you realize that the dual motor upright is about 15% more productive? That's because dual motor uprights are designed to be run in long overlapping passes instead of the short back and forth strokes that are used with most vacuums. Because of this, if you take a dual motor vacuum and a single motor vacuum and vacuum a 4,000 square foot area with an 18 inch dual motor and a 12 inch single motor upright, you would save four hours per week or 208 hours per year by using the dual motor upright. Let's begin our tour of the Versamatic by taking a look at the power head. To access the power head on your Versamatic, you'll need to remove the power head from the body of the vacuum. Start by turning the switch clockwise and then lifting the body off of the power head. There are four specific improvements that have been made to the power head on the Versamatic. The first one we'll find right here in the back. The foot pedal's been redesigned so that it will release if the Versamatic is dropped. This will prevent damage to the neck of the vacuum. The next improvement you'll find right here on the side. It's been redesigned so that the brush strip can now be replaced without any tools involved. Simply depress the button and the side piece slides right out, allowing access to the brush strip for replacement. The final two improvements we'll find on the bottom of the power head. You'll notice that there are now four wheels instead of three. Additionally, the wheels are rubber coated. What this means for you is longer life on the wheels and greater stability when vacuuming. Finally, we've added an access door similar to the access door on the sensors. This allows you to clean out debris that might build up in the neck of the vacuum. On the front of the Versamatic, you'll find the check brush light and brush OK light. Those lights tell you whether the brush is adjusted properly and in good working order. If the green brush OK light is on, you're set. If the orange check brush light comes on and there's no debris blocking the brush, you'll need to check to make sure the brush is still in good working order. To do that, take a credit card, driver's license, or in this case, a hotel key, and run it down the faceplate. As long as the bristles contact the card, your brush is in good working order. If the bristles don't contact the card, time for a new brush. To adjust your Versamatic properly, set the dial to the highest setting and then dial down notch by notch until the brush OK light comes on. To access the vacuum bag and the secondary filter, you'll need to remove the cord to gain access to the panel. Release the clip on the top of the back panel to gain access to the vacuum bag and the filter. Once you've removed the panel, you can now have complete access to the vacuum bag. To release the vacuum bag, depress this switch and the vacuum bag releases. One of the nice features on the Versamatic vacuum bag is it actually has a flap that can be taped down to prevent any debris from the bag from getting redeposited into breathable air. The secondary filter on the Versamatic should be maintained on a regular basis. It should be cleaned and free of debris and twice a year it should be replaced. To remove it, simply lift up and pull it straight out. Once you've cleaned your filter and you're ready to change your bag, replace the secondary filter, then replace the bag. When you're replacing the vacuum bag, it's important to note that this notch must fit into this slot right here. That's where you want to start to replace the bag. Once that notch is in the slot, depress the lever and the vacuum bag will be right back in place. Another new feature on the Versamatic is the handle which replaces just the hose with the small nozzle. The handle is great because now you can use it to do crevice work, to do corners and edges along walls. To remove the handle you'll need to lift up then out. To replace the handle Put the bottom in first and then push the handle back and down. 
that will lock the handle into place. When the handle's in position, the hose will come out of the handle. Additionally, to remove the hose from the other side, simply pinch and remove the hose. This will allow you to pull the hose out completely to clean any clogs. So there you have it. You now know everything that you need to know to safely and effectively operate and maintain your Windsor Versamatic dual motor vacuum.